Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, Larry the Batman fan. I'm back with another video. Apparently there's a guy who subscribed to me. It's called David Productions or Dave Productions. He wants me to do an Atari Top 10. Well, I'm going to actually do a t Atari 2600 Top 15. I, I don't like to do Top 5s or Top 10s because I feel like when I do top fives or top tens, I just feel like there's some games that I'm leaving out that are so good, you know, for whatever console. I feel like the list has to be at least a top 15 in order for me to say it was a good video. So that's why I don't do top fives or top tens. They're at least a top 15, and I even did twice a top 20 video because, like, for the Wii... The Wii gets a lot of hate, and the Wii, people have said that there's, like, no good games on that system, and I wanted to show some games, plus some underrated games on that particular video that there were good um, games, rather. And the Xbox 360 had just a massive library and so many damn good games on the system that I just couldn't do a top 15 and call that justified. So I had to do... A top 20 for those but to answer your question I'm not really that nostalgia for or nostalgic rather for the Atari 2600 or any of the Atari stuff it all came out before I was born so I don't really have that much attachment to Atari I've played the original machine I used to own that machine but I ended up selling it because just not a big fan of the Atari there's so many games today that just don't hold up very well. Um, it, for me, it's the NES and up. You know, anything before that, Atari, ColecoVision, and Television, or the Magnavox Odyssey, it just doesn't appeal to me, personally. The, the graphics are so shitty, you can barely see anything. You know, you have to really use your imagination. And I would rather like to see what I'm... Playing, you know, I mean, they may not be gra great um, graphics on the NES or Super Nintendo. Honestly, I didn't think the graphics were amazing until I had an N64 and a PlayStation. I got to play at my friend's house. So that was around the time that I thought gaming looked really good was N64 and PlayStation 1. And the Sega Dreamcast, that was another one, had great graphics. So, but I'm not like a graphic snob, just throwing that out there. But anyways, we're three minutes into the video, and I know you you wanted me to answer your request. I just had to get that off my chest. I'm going to answer your request. Now, there are three games that I am missing, or four games I'm missing for this. I don't have the biggest Atari collection. This is all I have. I have what you see in here. I only have about 50 games for the Atari. And I got it off a collector off of eBay. So, but I don't have the Atari machine, you know. But I just got it because one day I was feeling nostalgic or something. But anyways, uh, let me get to the video here. Um, so, the number one Atari game that I have played, that I really love and can play for hours without getting bored... Is asteroids and I'm going to show you it because I have asteroids here asteroids this is a fun game guys where you are in a ship and the premise of the game is to blow up asteroids and make sure you don't get hit by the asteroids it's a simple concept for a game simple premise but it's very fun and I recommend it if you have an Atari 2600 it is a really good game it's really fun to play this game so asteroids is my number one the number two game for the um atari 2600 and yes i did write these down for y'all that are wondering why do you keep looking this way or whatever it's because i wrote it down because i didn't want to screw up my count the number two game on the atari 2600 is pac-man jr pac-man jr was a very good game 
the levels in the game were very big. In fact, the screen when you were going down, it had to actually move down when you were going because it was that big of a level design. And it came out towards the end of the Atari 2600's life. Like 1984 or something. You know, just before the original Nintendo, the NES came out. And it was just a really fun um, game, playing as Pac-Man Jr. And going through the levels, collecting all the little food pieces. They look like balls, of course, but it's food. And you had to watch out for the four ghosts that were chasing you around and get the pop big... The big um, cheese ball, we'll call it. And then go around and get the ghosts and get the extra points. It's a really good game and I recommend it if you have an Atari 2600. Number three, I do have number three. And number three, I'm sure even Mike Mate would agree with me. This game is great. It's Kaboom. Kaboom was a good, good game. Uh, you play as a guy who's like a bartender serving up beer. Or no, 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 it's not beer, it's... um. Bartender, I don't know what I was thinking. I forgot. Sorry. You got some dude throwing bombs your way. And you're supposed to catch them and then throw them back or something. And you keep going. And then it adds a level of difficulty as time goes on. Because the thing starts getting faster with the bombs going down. You have to... Like that, you know. And it gets really challenging. It's definitely a good game. It definitely will have you thinking, move this way and that way and whatever, left and right. But I, I recommend it. It's a fun uh, Atari game that holds up. One thing's for sure, Activision knew how to make good games. They really did for the Atari. Um, number four is Miss Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man was a good, good game. Everybody knows about Miss Pac-Man. It's a really great game. And it was the first Pac-Man that was acceptable on the Atari because that original Pac-Man game, it flat out sucked. It sucked bad. It was not good on the Atari. It just wasn't good. So you got to play Miss Pac-Man. Um, number five is Missile Command. And I do have Missile Command in here. It's right here. I got it. Missile Command was a good game. Um, you, uh, sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. Um, Missile Command was a good game. There's like these missiles coming down. You got to put like something to block the missile from hitting your, um, your base. And you just keep going through the levels doing that. Hitting every single missile that's coming down from the sky. It's a really fun game. If you have an Atari, I definitely recommend you you pick it up. You can get it for like three bucks or less. Or you could just buy the Atari collection on PS4. There's three versions of that. Number six is um, Space Invaders. And I do have Space Invaders here. I have this version of it. I know there's another cover variant of this game. Give me a second. <clears throat> so Space Invaders is basically a game where you're the ship and there are these aliens that are basically trying to blow up your uh, base and then kill you. So you're shooting the creatures on the screen and you're trying to take them out. That's basically the premise of this game. And it's very good and I recommend it if you have an Atari 2600. It's a lot of fun. Let's see. Number seven is um, Yar's Revenge. And I do have Yar's Revenge right here. Yara's Revenge, if you bought this game brand new, or you can find it on eBay um, with the manual and stuff, actually had a comic book with this thing, which is cool, because it gives more of a backstory on this game. But from what I gathered, you're some sort of ship that's trying to blow up a base, and then you end up fighting the boss after you blow up the base. 
Um, I know there's more to the game than just that, but that's all I really remember. Like, I never read the actual comic book with this game, because I got this game with a bunch of the Atari games in that box. That came with like 50 Atari games, you know, so... That's about all I can really say, but um, look up gameplay, and you'll know what I mean. Look up the person that knows, uh, excuse me, more about the uh, backstory behind Yard's Revenge, but it's an excellent game, and it's definitely in my top 15. Uh, number 8 is Adventure. Adventure is a very fun game. I do recommend Adventure if you have an Atari, and I do have Adventure here. Here it is. And I know there's another cover variant of Adventure as well. Adventure was like the very first role-playing game that you could get for the Atari, you know. Besides like Sword Quest, which was sort of, was kind of an RPG, but it had a lot of going through the doors and shit. And that's not quite, um... An RPG. So really, this was like the first one, and it's a small game. It's about four levels, but it's worth it. You know, if you know what the hell you're doing, you can get through this game pretty quickly. But it's definitely a good one if you have an Atari. And even going back to it to this day, it's still fun. Number nine is um, one that I don't have actually. It's Pitfall, and Pitfall is a very fun game. You play as Harry, you, you swing on ropes over pits, these gaping holes, those are pits. And then you, um, you watch out for alligators, spiders, and snakes in the game. There's also climbing of the ladders and stuff like that. And it's a really great game if you have an Atari. Number 10, I also do not have, but I had it at one point. I don't know what the hell happened to that cartridge. But that game is Centipede. Centipede's a really fun game. And also Millipede is also very fun. They're very similar in gameplay. But Centipede, you know, you're like this little dot. and There's the centipede coming down. There's all these rocks in your way. You're blowing up rocks to get points. And you're trying to kill the centipede. That was a really fun game. I recommend that. Number 11 is Combat. And I do have Combat. And pretty much anybody that has an Atari, when they sell Atari lots on eBay, they always have combat. It's one of the most common games besides E.T. Oh, but E.T., what a shitty game. That's a shit game. Not good. But combat was very fun. You play as a tank, you go through the levels. You try to catch up with the other tanks and you blow them up. It's really good. I recommend it if you have an Atari. In fact, back in the day, when you bought an Atari, this was the game that they threw in. That's why they had so many copies of Combat, you know. So, yeah, you're most likely going to get that. If you buy an Atari for, say, 100 bucks off of eBay with, like, 20 games or 15 games, that game is most likely going to be there. In fact, you might end up with two copies. The seller may give you two copies of it okay number 12 number 12 is oh i already had put that there again whoops okay so we put adventure on the list twice by accident uh, i'm gonna substitute that with um a racing game oh no not the racing game. um it's called frostbite that's number 12, since we accidentally put Adventure on the list twice. Frostbite was an interesting game. You're like this dude who, like, got to climb on the platforms, and you're collecting stuff. And you also got to watch out for the the ice. You know, you, you can't be in the water. You'll die. You'll drown. And then later on in the game, there's an angry polar bear that comes by. And it's got, like, the premise where you jump on it, then you jump on the next one, and then the next one after that, and you got to make your way back into the igloo. So it was interesting. And plus, later on, the levels started moving. The platforms, rather. One would be going this way, one would be going 
to the right, left and the right. That third one would be going like really fast. You had to have your timing right to jump on that platform. It was a good game, Frostbite. Highly recommend that. Number 13 is Video Olympics, and I do have Video Olympics here. I'm going to show you guys that because I do have it. Here it is, right here. Video Olympics. It's basically Pong. Everybody knows that Pong is one of the oldest games ever made. But it was also one of the most fun games ever made, too. I mean, Pong was such a damn good game. Like, simple premise. Ball going this way. You had these little things on both ends. Gotta keep it so that the ball stays in your lane when you're moving it up like this and down. And you didn't want the ball to go on to the other side, basically. You wanted to get the points. It was a really good game. I highly recommend Pong Video Olympics. Number 14 is a very fun shoot 'em up game besides Asteroids. This one was a bit improved i'd say on certain things like asteroids was basic this one actually had some like side scrolling shooting in it you know kind of in the same vein as like star force stingers um 1942 those were on nes but before that you had demon attack and it's really good you know it was a really fun game for the atari going back to it now it still holds up pretty well if you're a fan of shoot 'em up games or shmup games this one is great. It's a no-brainer. In fact, even Metal Jesus Rocks has talked about that game. Because he even knows that that game still holds up pretty well. And number 15. Number 15 is a tie. Number 15 is Frogger and Freeway. And the reason I tie them in for number 15 is because they're very similar. The only difference really is that Frogger you're playing as a frog and Freeway you're playing as a chicken. Premise of the game is simple. You gotta make it from one side of the road to the other. Although in Freeway there is no lily pads that you jump on or logs. You're just a chicken trying to get across the road. Just like those chicken jokes. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Why did he cross it the second time? It was a double crosser. I know you guys like that joke, but in all, all joking aside, that's basically what this game is, you know, it's another skinned Frogger type of game, but it's actually pretty damn good, and it's only like two or three bucks, so you can't really go wrong if you're picking it up for Atari, and Frogger is also a must put on your Atari list because Frogger was so much fun, a lot of people have nostalgia for Frogger, and it's just a damn good game. You know, but in Frogger, of course, you're trying to get it across the street, just like this game. But then you have to jump on the lily pads and the, um, the, um, logs. You know, and then you have to make it to the left, middle. There's like four spots you gotta get in that spot. So, so that's my top 15 Atari games. Now for honorable mentions, because I always do an honorable mentions list. Um, Sword Quest, Fire World, and Earth, both good games, if you have an Atari, 2600, um, what else, uh, um, Qbert, I guess you could put Qbert up there. The Donkey Kong game I wouldn't put up on my honorable mentions because it doesn't look that good on the Atari. It actually plays better on the NES. Not even the Intellivision version really looks that good. The NES version was where it was at. Not the Atari or Intellivision. They, they both suck. Um, I'm not sure. Um, there's, there's a handful of Atari... Star Raiders is an okay game for Atari. It's not mind-blowing, but there's another game. Um, and then also, um, what else? Uh, Crazy Castles. That game's okay, too. 
So anyways, oh yeah, and also Oink and Private Eye. Those are okay games too. Uh, now for the um, other games that I have here. Demons to Diamonds. This is a pretty good game if you have an Atari. I recommend that. Super Breakout. I also do have the original Breakout in the box there. But personally, I think Super Breakout is a much better game and more um, challenging than the first game. It, overall, it, it is the better game. Um, Battle Zone was a fun game. In fact, I'd say that this was pretty damn close to um, an NES game. It's like a tank game where you blow shit up. It's, it's fun. It's definitely a fun one. Oh yeah, here, I have it right here. Star Raiders, I was just talking about this. That's good. Oh yeah, I do have Breakout here. I have it here in my honorable mentions. But it's just not as good as the first one. For, or the second one, rather. The second one is much better. Oh yes, and of course I have Defender in here. That's a fun shoot 'em up game. And then there's also Circus Atari, which is fun. A game where you... You're hitting things from up above and you gotta keep bouncing the thing back and forth. It's really good. Um Pitfall 2 was also a good uh Atari game. You can't go wrong with Pitfall 2. And then also Joust. I'm sure y'all know that Joust was originally on Atari. It did later go on to the NES and it was ported onto the uh Midway Arcade Treasures game for PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. That's a good one to play. And, um, Enduro. Enduro was a fun, um, racing game. You know, so I recommend that one too. So that's really all I got to say here, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. David Productions, thank you for, um, asking me to do this um even though i'm not really nostalgic for this system but i appreciate you appreciating me and wanting me to speak my mind on this sort of thing so thank you and thank you all for watching take care peace god bless you